Hey everybody, welcome back to Starbase, another YOLO tutorial for you guys. And today I'm going to show you guys how uh, you can have one button do quote unquote a chain effect or an indirect change in something. Well, I call it a chain effect, like you press a button and that affects one thing but indirectly affects another thing. Okay, and I'm talking of course about a... For this example, for this tutorial, I'm going to talk about a cruise button, like this one, okay? So, if I gotta press it, nothing's happening, nothing, nada, okay? So, basically, if you guys don't haven't seen it all yet, or, like, I think some people call it turtle, other people call it slow mode, or just slow or something, um, and some people call it cruise. Uh, basically, what happens is, if you press this um, button, or activate the, uh, the cruise, then, um, okay, let me show you guys. If we fly the ship, okay, that lever over there controls my forward motion. Like, this lever is directly connected to my flight computer. My flight computer uh, controls my back thrusters, okay? So if I hold this button in, okay, then we fly forward. But as soon as I let go of my shift key, then we can see that this slider moves back to zero it goes from zero to 100 and back okay so how are we going to write the yolo code that will enable us a cruise mode in other words cruise mode is when i hold shift and it just it leaves it at that it doesn't go back like this it just leaves it as this okay how do we do that well again like as said in the previous episodes, there are a lot of objects have fields which you can change. And if we look at a lever, a normal lever, okay, as you can see, it's got a bunch of fields of a bunch of changeable or edible uh, um, properties in here, okay. And the one we are looking for is uh, what is it called? Centering speed. That means how fast this lever centers itself back to its original position. This one, like for instance this lever, it's got a center. It can go left or right. Um, it's got a maximum, then a zero, and then a minus maximum, as we can see here. This thing, uh, this maximum output to the top is 25, and an output, its minimum is minus 25, but it's centering original center is a zero okay um i think that lever centering center output i think that center is what it, what's what it's in here now it's its center is zero so it goes from zero to 25 or zero minus 25. the thing that controls your um power your thrusters okay its minimum is a zero, which is over here, and its maximum is a hundred. So that's a hundred percent power. And now the centering speed is just how fast it go. Uh, it goes from whatever you adjusted it to. It how fast it will go back. Okay, um, it's centering actually back. So it actually it just it resets itself with a normal lever like this thing. So. With that in mind, we want this cruise button to affect the centering speed because we want it to um, stay on cruise mode as we like um, increase the power of the ship, its uh, thrust, its move for forward momentum as it goes forward. We want it to automatically or just like keep it there so we don't have to break our little poor pinky on the shift key um and numb it into eternity because it, let's be honest in, in this game the universe is quite big um and holding in shift of your pinky the whole time for i think about what 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 was the it's like 24 hours or something or like days from getting from this uh, or a station to a moon just flying in a straight line like how how do you think if you're gonna sit here for a week or something or a couple of days just holding in your pinky <laughs> so that's why you kind of want a cruise button and a cruise button will allow you to adjust the speed and let it automatically keep it there. Okay, so back here, 
And this is why I designed a ship which has these extra sockets, chip sockets, so that if I decide to add something a little bit later, even if I finish building the ship, um, I can later just get myself a chip reader, plop it into a chip socket, and change it in game. And yes, you can. In game, you can go ahead and, like, for instance, if I run this again, you can go ahead in the game, go ahead and change whatever you wish. Okay? You can go ahead and type in there. Okay? As we can see, I can't re get go in further, but um, you can change things. I think that it's better to showcase it over here. I think N is this. So go ahead and unlock this so if i choose maybe for line four i can say hi you know this is line four okay so you can in the game still you don't have to necessarily be in the um ship editor you can just go ahead and change it over here um in in game as well okay so what we need to do is we're going to use our trust, trust the old, my favorite, if statement. So, if I press this button, then this lever, its centering speed, must be set at zero. Otherwise, stay at the current line. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this name. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to my, um, your old chip over here. Say so edit. Now, just like the previous episode with the button and a light, same thing applies here, okay? So we're going to say if, okay, double point, cruise, so it's uh, cruise, if this button is equal to 1, then, okay, then, now this is where it gets a little bit, I would say advanced, but it gets a little bit tricky. We have to grab the correct field, okay? So, we are going to uh, manipulate the lever centering speed. Lever centering speed. Okay, I'm going to copy it. Copy its name. We are going to change this field from a 4 to a 0. Alright. So, I copied that name. Coming back here to the script. And I say Control V to press it. Uh, to paste it. And then I'm just going to add the double point at the beginning to tell the script editor to look for this uh, lever centering speed in the network. Remember a network is everything that is connected via a cable, uh, electric cable, all the way. Make sure everything is connected uh, in the same network if you're going to do this sort of thing. Um, so basically what is going to, what this script is going to do, so it's going to see, oh, if uh, this cruise button gets the value of one, then lever centering speed, we have to change its value to zero. Okay. Or otherwise, or else, uh, please go ahead and just stay in line one. And we end. Okay. That, that's uh, that's basically, I think the code will work that way. Uh, but just this quickly revise how it's... Uh, how it's uh, let's put it in layman's terms if this button is pressed then the lever centering speed must be at zero otherwise please stay on line one there we go okay so now um if i have done this correctly let's go ahead and run this okay so let's quickly take a look over here as we can see, lever centering speed, its speed is on 4. Um, and let me just go ahead and take care of this. So if we go ahead and press this button, cruise. And we look at this again. Its lever centering speed is now on 0. Now what does that mean? How does this chain to whatever to whatever? What, I, what, I have, what the hell have I been talking about earlier? Okay, so. Like I said, this uh, ship, I can't remember where exactly is it. I think it's... Yeah, I can't remember where it is. But if you're going to design a ship, you will have a flight computer. That flight computer controls your thrusters. Okay, so the thrusters here at the back, you know, back there, even the side ones, 
these these side ones these ones are looking backward and all that the flight computer handles them okay and if you're going to design a ship and you have the flight computer on you mainly go and choose this lever your main thrusters to fcu forward flight computer forward so now the ship um this lever now controls the forward motion or the the thrusters that pushes your ship forward it controls those now so what we are doing is we're actually manipulating the lever over here its fields to actually indirectly affect what happens to the thrusters at the back so now that we have pressed this button let's go ahead and press it again all right we can see uh wait hold on uh we have to change something quickly because otherwise this is gonna fail hard um because if once you press that button it will always be <laughs> pressed um not always pressed but it's going to um it's not gonna do great things okay what i'm gonna do here is if the button is pressed then living speed uh, liver centering speed gets the value of zero otherwise we're gonna tell it to go to line two okay and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna copy this whole um line over here Control c and then click on line two and Control v and then i'm going to change that okay so basically what's going to happen now um just want to make sure like this and like this okay so what i've done is if the cruise button is oh wait we have to change this Damn it! There we go. Okay. <laughs> if the cruise button is pressed, then the lever, is, lever centering speed gets the value of zero. Otherwise, if it's not pressed, please go to line two. Okay. So it's not pressed. What happens in line two? If the cruise button is not pressed, then lever centering speed gets the value of four. All right. Otherwise, go to um line one i think this will work um so basically the reason why i'm changing this now why what i saw just now luckily we didn't do anything yet um when we press this button okay the code did apply but once we press this button again the code did not reset the lever centering speed it kept that at a zero because we when we press this button it changed the um uh this lever centering speed to zero but as soon as you press this button there was no code to tell to the um the yellow code to like hey listen this button has been switched off can you go ahead please and um revert the settings back to four okay does that make sense because we pressed the button it changed the values but there was no code to tell um the button or there was no code to change this value back if this button was switched off there was no code for it so it will always have been on the value of zero okay so once that is done let's go ahead and run the simulator quickly okay so now that we are happy about everything um let's go ahead and jump into the ship so now that button is off if i'm gonna hold if i press shift quickly as we can see this happens okay which is normal it's normal all right but what what happens if i press this button now there we go as we can see my hand is now off from my keyboard now what happens if i press this button again oh look at that it actually automatically reverted back to its original settings so there we go now we have a cruise mode on the ship so now i can just you know sit back relax and let the ship fly on its own no no problems whatsoever um there we go and turn around so yeah that's kind of how you can quote unquote chain link or have something um affect like one button affects actually the thrusters indirectly like a chain effect that's going on and there's a lot of things you can do in that sense 
Uh, for instance, uh, just a quick example. Like these doors, I can open them up, okay? But I have a code running that if I move this ship, if this ship starts flying forward, these doors close automatically. As you can see that. And uh, it's pretty nice to have. The reason why you kind of want uh, this sort of thing to happen is my ship does not really have that issue. But let's say, for instance, those thrusters were actually sitting here. And we were, we were not in the safe zone or anything. Uh, and I accidentally um, reversed, you know, um, moved uh, backwards of my ship. It would have actually blown these doors off in the um, safe zone. So that's kind of why I have, if I move forward or anything with my ship, then um, those doors would close automatically. And it's just a little nice feature to have, but still, it shows you that um, indirectly, these doors are being affected by my flight controls and things. And uh, yeah, and that is it for me, people. Thanks so much for joining me here on Starbase. Your little tutorial. Hope you guys did enjoy. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.